Praise the Lord. Indeed, it is a, a blessing to be in the house of the Lord. As uh, David said, I'd rather be a doorkeeper in my father's house than to dwell in the tents of the wicked. If you have your Bible, I'd like to share to you from the book of Matthew, chapter 6, from verse 25 to 34. I won't be reading the scriptures, but I'd like just to quote some points that I'd like to share to you today. That uh, reasons why we should not worry. You know, there are a lot of things that we worried about, but the Word of God teaches us that we should not worry. In verse 25, we should not worry because life is more than meat. Body is more than raiment. Men are greater than materials. In verse 26 says, Men are greater than fowls whom God feeds without their labor. In verse 27 says, Worry cannot change our body. Men are better than plants that do not worry about clothing, which we can read from verse 28 to 30. God's providence is over all creation, not only birds and plants that never buy, sell, or manufacture, or labor. Worry is useless and sinful and must not be tolerated. That's why keep worrying. It is sinful and produces fear. When we start worrying, it produces fear. A disease causing others ill. When we start worrying and we tell others that we are worried, it's like a disease that transferred to them and they start also worrying. It is like borrowing trouble that cannot be paid back, right? As if we try to worry for our six years old daughter, and we were thinking about being her 20 years old. That's a long way. So that's why Jesus said that uh, as he taught us the prayer, give us this day our daily bread. So we could trust him. So we'll stop worrying about what happens after 10 or 30 years from now. We never know. But we thank God that we don't know what is in the future, but we know who holds our future. So we will not worry. We will just smile. Don't you know that it takes more muscles to worry than to smile? Look at those people that laugh so much. They still, they stay young. Next, brooding over what may not happen. It might not happen, and you're there worrying. See? Creating trouble and misery, even death. And it's not, just, it's not happening. And we try to think about it. Weight that kills prematurely. Worry is like carrying something at our back that it, it, it doesn't even happen. Mental and physical suicide. When we, we worry, it is uh, like we are committing suicide. A grave digger that has no sympathy, as if you are the one that, you know, I don't know how you in the Philippines we use the sovel. When you worry, you are like that, the one, and you bury your own self in the grave. Needless and waste time and effort that should not be spent worldwide on things. A robber of faith and peace. That's right. When we worry, it robs our faith in God. The peace that God has given us. The trust, never failing and never failing Heavenly Father, that He never fails us. And yet we try to worry in many, many things in our lives. A stumbling block for others. A disgrace to God and should never be indulged 
in by Christians. Anxiety about what is nothing today and less tomorrow in view of faith. Anticipating troubles when we we try to anticipate troubles. Which seldom come to those who trust God. Amen. Praise the Lord. Torment over something that will likely be a blessing if it comes. We thought it's something, but it's God's way. Because sometimes, that's why the word of God says, our thoughts are not his thoughts, neither his ways are his ways, are our ways. That's why we just trust the Lord. Let it go. No, we will not fight against the current. Have you tried swimming against the current? You know, just, you try it. You just flow with the Lord. Never fight the current. Torment over something that will likely be a blessing if it comes. Living like orphan without Heavenly Father. A thought as we, as, as we think that uh, we don't have somebody there. We have our Lord Jesus Christ. A crime against God, man and nature. Mental cr- cruelty to self and others. And it says foolish thoughts. Whatever is going to happen cannot be stopped by worry. Right? And if that doesn't happen, there's nothing to worry about. Should advers- adversities and actually come, one may still be victorious by trusting God. So don't worry. Be happy. 